In order to understand this video, you should first see my previous video called The Universe Revealed and also see a video by alien scientist called The Secret to Anti-Gravity Revealed. In my previous video, I explained that all the fundamental forces in the universe are displacement forces caused by a density differential in the medium of space-time. In this video, I am going to explain the fifth fundamental force, inertia, and how inertia is the key to the anti-gravitational effect. Inertia is the tendency of an object to resist any change in its state of motion. As we already know, every object curves space-time, therefore creating a field of low-density space-time around it. Inertial forces are created when an object moves relative to the center of space-time curvature that it itself creates. In such a situation, the object is in a region of changing space-time density, which will create a force pulling back the object to the center of curvature. That force is what we call inertia. Since the space-time curvature shifts with the speed of light, you'd think that in order for the object to escape the center of curvature, it needs to move faster than the speed of light. That is not so, because the object must first change its position in order to cause the shifting of the curvature, which will chase the object with the speed of light. So there is a very small period of time in which the object is in the region of changing space-time density, thus experiencing inertia. So how does that relate to anti-gravity? When the plasma in the donut of the flying saucer is rotated, that creates a region of low-density space-time around the craft because of the inertia of the plasma. The faster it's spun, the lower the density will be. Once the density around the craft is lower than the naturally occurring because of gravity density underneath the craft, the mass vector will shift from pointing down to pointing sideways and will cancel itself out. So the craft will just hover and will appear to have no mass. Now if you want to move the craft in any direction, you could tweak the plasma rotation in such a way as to create the Euler force. Once a small force is applied on the craft which has no mass, the craft will fly off with horrific speed. 